like to call to order the July 23rd Supreme Court Board of Education Board meeting. Roll call. Bad. Here. Balaji. Goods. Here. Schleidhoff. Here. Stinky. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, 1.2, I have adoption of the agenda. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Roll call? Bad. Yes. Good. Yes. Second. Yes. 1.3, we have approval of the July 8th meeting minutes. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Roll call? Bad. Yes. Good. Yes. Second. Okay, we have public participation introduction of guests. So is there anybody here from the Spring Borough Education Association? Nope. 2.2, uh, we've got um, asking if there's representation from the Spring Borough Classified Employees Association. Nope. Okay, 2.3, public participation prearranged. We do not have anybody that has registered to speak. Um, 2.4, we've got public participation on an agenda item. Is there anybody that would like to speak on an agenda item? Okay. That being said, we will move on to the work session. 3.1, um, if there is something during the work session that you would like um, to ask, please let us know that. There is going to be opportunities for that. And Mr. Tuber, you would like to go over 3.2 to 3.4 beginning with the discussion of a retired, retired teacher. Okay, um, Mr. Vice President, members of the board, uh, tonight I'm here to discuss some items. One is the potential re-employment of Jeff Brumke. Um, Jeff served the Springboro community for our uh, band program for a number of years. Um, he has retired. Um, he, last year, was actually on a, a contract in service for us for 72 days, I believe, uh, maybe 75. Uh, did a very nice job. Uh, we track the numbers of our band students very closely, as well as our other music and classes. And, uh, certainly a need for additional services this year. Um, and we would love to employ Mr. Rungi for that. Uh, the benefit of this is a retiree hire and something that we get to evaluate every year. Um, and it makes it a little bit easier for us to um, continue to make sure that uh, it's a need for the district. And in the collective bargaining agreement, it states that we bring it in the bottom step, so we get a lot of value out of Mr. Rungi. 3.3, our online learning plan. Uh, this is something that we are required to bring to you each year. I know uh, Mrs. Greer and Mrs. Holtree have worked closely uh, together to create this plan. Um, and then I've worked with uh, Ms. Dole, the SEA president, to make sure that their agreement, the uh, requirement is to have their signature, which we've secured as well. So the union is um, in agreement with this plan. Can I ask a quick question on that? So is that something that, like the union, would be bringing back representation of from the teachers of their input with how it went last year, or? Yeah, that's they certainly have that ability. So I, you know, we work pretty closely with her on lots of things. I, I can't speak to the process that she used before she we secured her signature, but I did share it with her. Um, she gave us a little bit of feedback, and then uh, she was well to sign it. So. Okay. And then uh, this other is an annual Microsoft agreement um, in 3.4 that I bring to you. Um, in line with the resources that we use. Are there any other questions on 3.2 to 3.4? Um, the online learning plan, that's just in case we have you know, something like another, like a team and a like, or like we exceed our a lot of hours. That's correct. Right. Yep. So we used it hours. when the right. Yes. Or used and speaking with our instructional leaders, we would have to be out of school for at least five days before we would even have to examine the possibility of putting that in place. That's good to know because I think there was confusion with that, with having this plan. If you're on day one or day two, does that mean the kids have to do something? So we will wait until the fifth. And it's, we're, I'm up here speaking in days. I think that's like the traditional, it's, yeah. in terms of hours is what it all comes down to. Right. But the, at around five days we would start to think oh we may need to put this into place at some point yeah. but we know we're we're well over the hours the minimum hours of the state yeah so. for like all the buildings mm -hmm. 
kindergarten is always a little Half day kindergarten is the trickiest, but okay. we're still over with them even after five days. <clears throat> we still have some time to figure things out. No other questions, Mr. Gilbert. All if right. you would like to go over 3.5 Absolutely. Um, for uh, item 3.5, it's a uh, gas utility agreement. Uh, as you know, utilities just continue to rise on us, and uh, utility prices are very fluctuating as you go through the process and you try to hit the mark the best you can with your renewal. Uh, I think that you know at this point in time we did that uh, for our district and you know we're trying to get the lowest rate that we possibly can in the sign up period that we have so that's what the, the uh, request is in front of you today uh, any questions on that okay. uh, and then item 3.6 is actually the uh, resolution that we're looking for for the professional design services or architectural and engineering services uh, it is a request for qualifications so they would be forwarding us qualifications uh, of their firms and then we would be evaluating those firms and ranking those firms and then once we do that then the process would take place where we would come back to the board with a selection so i do have a question with that what in like do we have set information that we're giving anybody who says that they're possibly interested in this rfq so that they know at least things that they should be bringing to us to explore or what does that look like just yeah. for equity between what different firms are receiving yeah there is a scope of work that we've developed in order for them to retrieve and get from us once they show interest uh, in receiving that and they just go ahead and email me and then we send it out to them so uh, there will be a true scope of work for them to work off of Got it. yeah and what's the time frame for that uh, uh, they'll be due on August the 7th so the advertisement should go out tomorrow if approved this evening by the board, uh, and then they'll have through August 7th to respond. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. I, would, I just want to make one statement about it. I appreciate, Scott, you bringing, you bringing that forward, just helping us understand the process. I think this last week has been a really, really cool week in Springboro because to see the collaboration among that is potentially there for the city for um, a place that brought a lot of controversy and to think about there being some possibilities of ways that the schools could also be a part. It was just really, really neat to see the feedback and the buzz of the excitement of um, the possibilities. So I appreciate people that have done the work to get us to this point in possible consideration. So, thank you. Okay, uh, I don't believe there's any committee reports, so we'll move on from 3.7. Um, 3.8, is there any other discussion of businesses required? No? Okay. Ms. Stacy, if you wanna go through 4.1 through 4.5, please. Oh, 4.6? Yes. 4.6, sorry about that. Yep. Um, okay, item 4.1 is the approval of the June 2024 financial statements. Um, detailed financial statements are on board docs for your review. And I also attached um, a year-end summary review for you of just kind of how we um, ended the fiscal year. I'll give you just a couple highlights. Um, our revenue came in $43,000 higher than we anticipated, so that's always nice to see a little bit more revenue than we were expecting. Um, well, we're also talking about almost $64 million, so $43,000 is very close. Our expenditures came in $123,000 under budget, um, but it is important to note that of that $50,000, I did have slated to be transferring out, um, and that you'll see that on the agenda tonight. So once that's approved, I will move that out, so it'll just be a timing issue. It didn't happen in June, it'll happen in July. So technically, we were 73,000 under budget um, for the year, um, but either way, when we closed June, we had 43,000 additional revenue, 123,000 less in expenditures, which added 166,000 to our net cash balance going into fiscal 25. Um, so that's about 74 days of cash on hand, and we were anticipating about 73 and a half, so we're, we're very close. We did good on fiscal 24, and we're hoping to continue on for fiscal 25 um, in a similar fashion. Um, item 4.2 is the resolution to establish that 023 fund. I did put that in my update, and we discussed it before. Um, that'll allow me to set um, those 
dollars aside as a transfer each year. Um, and then item 4.3 is approval of a lease purchase for a school buses. The board did approve this last August, but as we mentioned last August, it was taking about a year for school buses to come in. And so um, now that we are getting close, they should be coming in between next month and maybe in early September. Um, so that'll allow me to move um, forward with securing the financing. Um, so that's what item 4.3 is. Um, that'll also be coming out of the PI funds. Which it has been in the past and is actually replacing one that has expired so it won't be an additional bus lease it's just um, replacing one that has already expired um, item 4.4 is approval of a student services private placement contract um, this was one that we had through Hamilton County ESC and they were not able to accommodate those services this year so we um, Sarah was able to secure those through Butler County ESC so that is item 4.4 and then I do have two donations. Item 4.5 is approval of a donation of $500 from Larry Carpenter. Um, I got a little bit of information on this since 1988 grad, and um, he is donating $500 to the Student Neo Balance Fund in memory of his grandfather, who was a 1939 grad from, from Springboro. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then item 4.6 is a donation of $270 worth of computers from David Campbell that will be used throughout the district. Stacy just shared out. Okay, I get a motion for 4.1 approval for 4.1 through 4.6. So moved. Second. Roll call. Clap. Yes. Good. Yes. Sign off. Yes. All right, Mr. Tudor, if you right, can go through 5.1 through 5.4. Hey, Ms. Ms. Board Vice President, members of the board. I come before you tonight to seek approval for our personnel report. Um, as you can see on there at the top, um, we are asking for the, you to accept the resignation of Kyle Longworth, who is our assistant athletic director. Um, he's accepted another position, a position in another district as an athletic director. Um, Kyle's a Springboro grad, so it's certainly sad to see him go, but the promotion is something that he certainly has um, earned, and we're excited to see where he's going to grow in that position. Uh, his position was posted, and we're currently uh, searching for his replacement, um, which I know it's a tough time of year. Um, other things you'll see on there, there are some two-year contracts. We made an error in my office, and um, these are people who have been with us for three years, so we're coming back for a revision of that. Um, we reviewed all of their evaluation scores, and they're in line with this recommendation. Uh, our bus drivers are on there as well, um, as well as some extended time for um, counselors, um, music, ROTC, um, and then finally substitutes. Uh, 5.2, uh, I seek the renewal of our Forward Edge Microsoft Agreement that we discussed during uh, work session. 5.3 is approval for the online learning plan that we also discussed. Uh, and then item 5.4 is approval of our athletic report, which um, is filled with supplemental uh, site managers, um, coaches for our fall sports, which I know our athletes, student athletes are getting ready to kick off. We have a motion to approve 5.1 through 5.4. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I did have one, two questions. How are we doing overall with hiring staff? Like I saw another EA, and I know we've had some of those in the past. How are we doing overall with filling open positions? Yes, so classified and certified are really kind of two different projects for us. Sure. EAs become a moving target where you'll see those posted and filled all throughout the school year. Um, so I know we had one that we thought we had filled today that we're going to lose, so we'll go back out with that. In terms of certified, um, I know Ms. Kirstner on Friday is going to meet with a speech and language pathologist to help hopefully secure a position for that. Um, and then it's our school psychologist that she talked about last week that we've kind of pieced together. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of teaching, we're fully staffed. Special education and intervention specialists, we're fully staffed too. So on that side of things, where licenses are tied to timelines, yeah. you know, we feel like we're in a really good spot. Wonderful. Wonderful. Any other discussion? Okay, roll call. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Okay, Mr. Gilbert, would you cover 6.1 through 6.5, please? I will. 
Uh, so item 6.1 is uh, the bus stop approvals. Uh, of course, as you know, this kind of flu is fluid throughout the year, but we need to come to the board at this point in time for the bus stop approval uh, resolution. So we're just asking for approval of that. Um, item 6.2 is the impractical transportation. Uh, this has not changed uh, throughout the year, so it is, is the same. And uh, so we're submitting that to you this evening. Um, item 6.3 is for bleacher controls. Uh, that is something that we've spoken about before and we re did receive donations from both Springboro Youth Volleyball and also Springboro Youth Basketball towards this uh, uh, project. So we're happy that they're a partner of ours and so uh, the other part will be covered through PI and it was planned uh, for this project to occur so we do have that in the budget. Item 6.4 is the Constellation Gas Agreement that we discussed earlier in the work session. And then item 6.5 is the authorization for the uh, ability to solicit for professional design services through the RFQ process. Thank you. We have a motion to approve 6.1 through 6.5. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I just have one question. Do the bus stops pretty much stay the same as what they have been in the past? Were there any major changes? No major changes. Yeah, pretty much steady. Roll call. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. That's pretty quick. All right. Do we have any board member comments? We'll start with you, Sarah. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, Mr. Gilbert for you know I saw today that <laughs> the news piece about like celebrating custodians and grounds crew like. Seriously, like every single summer, like knock out a phenomenal job and keeping our campus looking great. Um, and I know it's a lot of hard work and that sometimes people think everything shuts down after all the kids and stuff. But that's not the case at all, right? It seems like everything like ramps up for everybody, right? Um, and also thank you too for you know the work that's the upcoming work you've been looking into you know, with RFQ and all of that. I, it, it's gonna be hard to be but like it's not gonna be fast, right? Well, some things, yes, but right. Um, but, and also thank you to all the donations um, for the computers from Mr. Campbell and the donation for the student video balance from Mr. Carpenter. Um, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, appreciate the donations as always uh, from the community. Um, and, uh, you know, it looks like uh, school's right around the corner, which is, yeah, pretty crazy, but here we are, and then uh, it's certainly exciting that we've taken our first official step um, to start, you know, looking into some potential uh, future facility upgrades. So that's really exciting. So. All right. Um, so the first one is I just um, sometimes when you give different updates, I want to show uh, do a little shout out to our ESCs that like it was neat to hear Hamilton County didn't have one available, but Butler County did. So I just think the partnerships when. We can help out and just you guys are very resourceful so I thank you for um, for that um, when we walked in and saw the entrance I love it that we're taking it to the next level of safety and it just looks so sharp I know Scott mentioned there's gonna be some Kyle's using some of his money to do more of a spring road design type of thing at that front office and he was saying that um, that's always been a very cold area for anybody that sits in that front area so I just think it's it's a great update and it's another reason why we have the PI levy and this is paying for that so it's just neat to see it come to life and really see the changes over the summer so thank you for that um, and last would just be um, the excitement about our potential partnerships with the community with um, you know as we even though we are not growing 400 kiddos a year we still have to look at the safety of our buildings and the health of our buildings and what is best for kids and we've I mean how I was during COVID that we were working with you on looking at the condition of the buildings and what could it look like so to think and there's always kind of a there's always going to be maybe a little bit of two sides but it's been a lot more in the past and to see the community's response to the potential that we could have in really really doing what's best for Springboro for our community for our families for our kids has just been super exciting so like Sarah said there's going to be some things that are it's a slow process and um, I think that 
I just want to share out that we are committed as a board, as administration, to communication is going to be the key through this, and we want to hear from the community, and we are committed to making sure that this is um, a community-wide um, consideration, I guess. So that's all that I have. Any other future considerations? No. Okay, at this point, um, 8.1, we have executive um, session. For RC 121.22, for the purchase of property for public purposes or the sale of property at competitive bidding, matters to be kept confidential by federal law or regulations or state statutes. Will there be a vote after? No. With no vote after. Can I have, like, well, we just leave? We say motion to go into executive session. We do, we, okay. So, can I have a motion to go into executive session? Second. Roll call. Bad. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. 